I, I hopped on the phone with the, this morning with uh, with a woman in the mentorship. Uh, her name is Deb. Uh, Deb is awesome. She's absolutely amazing. She's super consistent. Um, just a, a smart, kind, genuine individual who puts in a tremendous amount of effort. And and we've been we were going over some of her content on social media, and her captions are fantastic. Her her ideas for content are fantastic. Her her execution of the of the information is fantastic. The hashtags are super well done. You know, like I could tell she paid attention to the Instagram growth guide and the mentorship. Like everything was great. The one and I told her all of this. I said, there's one thing that I think that needs to change. And I was looking at her reels and her videos. When I was watching her reels and videos, there were a couple of things going on. But the main thing is when I, when I was talking to her on the phone, I was like, I was talking to a friend. It was funny and we were laughing and it was like, it was a great voice and tone and conversation. As soon as she hits record on her camera, everything changes. She's, she gets very like her eyes glaze over. She will not look at the camera. She'll look at herself. So like she, it's like she's not making eye contact. It's as though you're talking with someone and they're not making. It's like they're looking at your nose and not your eyes. It's like it's not not. It's like, you're like what the fuck is on my nose type of a thing. Mm-hmm. And the way that she, I after I told her this, she was like, yeah, I always get so worried. I asked, I said, do you have a script that you're reading off of? Because it sounds very scripted. There's no ahs. There's no ums. There's no likes. It's just like if you want three ways to improve your fitness, here's how. Jump cut number one. This is like eat more protein. And I was like, listen, the information you're giving is great. It's great information. And and the, like the editing of the video is great and all that. But it looks like y- you are like you are reading off a script and there's it's not you. It's not real. It's like a robot. And in a world in which if you were the first within the first hundred people to be making content online, that would be great. This would be, it would be totally fine because people would be like, oh, this is great information. I didn't know. Awesome. Well, now there's a lot of fucking people making content online. And if you want to stand out, it's not just about the information. It's how you present the information. And the best way to present the information is like yourself. Mm. This is the best way. It doesn't have to be exuberant. Doesn't, have to, But like you're talking to a friend. This is one of the most important things because when people are fighting for attention – literally fighting for attention on social media. If you're not being real, it's very easy to sniff out. It's and it's like it's not as fun, it's not as exciting. It's uh it it seems staged and all of that. So my advice to Deb was I was like I want you to look in the camera hole, like look in the camera hole, like and imagine the camera hole is the eyeball of someone you're talking to and I want you to because what she was saying, what she did is she like would start and stop the camera over and over, like do one clip, start, stop, start, stop. And I was like, hit record and let it roll and do not stop. Do the entire video. And I want you to to talk like you're talking to, to a real person. And if you say like, like, or um, or whatever, that's okay. People do that in real conversation. It's not a big deal. People know you, if you're having a conversation with someone and their face isn't changing shape, like if they're not moving their eyebrows or they're not smiling or frowning or like making faces, like I am, like if you're not doing something, it looks weird. It looks like, like what, like did you get Botox and you can't like move the muscles in your face type of a thing? You want to be animated. You and it doesn't have to be over animated. It just has to be like a real conversation with a friend. So let's say you're talking about. I don't know how to stay full in a calorie deficit. And you're like, Hey, here are three ways to stay full in a calorie deficit. And there's no tonality change. There's nothing in your face versus like, all right, listen, if you're hungry in a calorie deficit, pay attention. Here are three ways to stay full while you're in, while you're in a dieting phase way better. And it's just the difference between when you're trying to talk to the camera versus when you're trying to talk to an individual. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the best things that you can do is you don't have to be like me. You don't have to be like anybody else. You just have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the best part of this. But if you're if you're trying to be a robot that doesn't make any spelling errors or grammatical not spelling errors when you speak, it doesn't make a grammatical error when you speak. That doesn't say like or um or if you're trying to do that, then you're never going to be. It's never going to be real. It's people aren't going to connect with you. You ha be yourself, and it's the best thing you could possibly be. Awesome. <laughs>